This video will demonstrate the performance of a Spearman correlation coefficient. We typically do this sort of analysis when we want to develop a correlation or a relationship among variables, but in contrast to the Pearson correlation coefficient, in which uses interval or ratio scale data that is normally distributed, we can use the Spearman correlation when we have data that is either ordinal in nature, such as a ranking, or if we have interval or ratio scale data that is not normally distributed, then we can choose the Spearman correlation coefficient in order to establish a relationship. So we have two sets of data here. We have two variables. Um, one variable is uh, the overall score in a college course, so the final grade or score they received in the course. And then there's a ranking of their satisfaction with the course instruction. So a, a ranking of five would be highly satisfied. A ranking of one, a ranking of one would indicate a very unsatisfied. So we wish to establish a relationship between these two variables to see if satisfaction score uh, is related to their overall course grade. So in order to make this analysis, we go to the Analyze menu, Correlate, and then choose Bivariate. And we want to move our two variables in which we want to correlate over into the variables box. And then we need to make sure that Spearman is checked instead of Pearson, because remember the Spearman correlation is used with ordinal scale data, which is what we have in this case, or is if we have non-normally distributed ratio or interval scale data. So once we've checked Spearman, we're ready to run the analysis. Click OK. And so the output that we get from here uh, gives an indication of the number of subjects we have. So we have 30 uh, pairs of data that we're trying to correlate. And if we look at satisfaction score relative to overall score, we can see we have a strong correlation of 0.796 and that is at a significance level of less than 0 0.05 and certainly a less than 0 0.01. So we'd be able to say that we have a strong positive correlation between these two variables. Now we can also uh, visualize this using a scatter plot. So if we go to the graphing function and then legacy dialogues, and then we choose scatter plot, we're going to do a simple scatter plot. Uh, I've got the satisfaction score set as the x variable. In other words, we're saying that a certain level of satisfaction will may explain or might be related to a certain level of overall score. So overall score would be in the y variable. So we click OK. And then we see our scatter plot here. And you can see that there definitely is a, a trend from lower right, I'm sorry, lower left to the upper right, which is indicating a, a positive trend. And what we can do here as well is we can double click on this and we can ask SPSS to put a linear trend line onto the graph so we can kind of visualize that trend. So we see this little button here allows us to place uh, a trend line based upon the correlation that we see. You can see the trend line is placed here and you get again the ability to visualize this positive linear relationship among these two variables. So to summarize we can use the Spearman correlation coefficient to examine relationships among variables. And we use it in, in two basic situations when we have ordinal scale data or we have interval or ratio scale data that is not normally distributed.